Everyone, happy Saturday. I don't know where I'm going today. I'm, I'm 100 miles north of Yellowstone. So I should go there, there and enjoy the sights. Then again, it's a Saturday <laughs> in July. It's gonna be madness. I, I'm afraid of what I'm gonna see when I get there. That's a setup, by the way. That's what I want in my garage. I don't care about the house. The house is fine, it's where I sleep. But that garage is what I want. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I did some mapping last night. I looked at going straight east through like Montana and Dakotas and the Wyoming, and dipping down to Missoula and uh, Euclid, and then basically hitting Chicago and then going from south east from there. Uh, that's one option. Other option goes through Colorado and then across Kansas, which I've, I've done that drive before in a car. Eh. Uh, I've asked Heather to look at the regional weather for north versus central next seven days. Whatever's a little less hot is what I'll go for because like, I heard it's going to be a heat wave in Montana. Is it going to be also 115 degrees in... Uh, in um, Colorado. So we have questions. I have questions. I'm going to get in town, get some service, and then do some research. Figure out what uh, I'm doing next. Yes, Montana. 24 hours later. Uh, this is my goal yesterday. I didn't make it. There was some forest access over there for those hills. There's also a lake over there with, uh, with camping. So I would have been fine getting to Enos and finding something. Um, I want some breakfast. There's a <laughs> <laughs> There's a waffle place. It's called Devin's Waffles and Express Espresso. I'm gonna walk at that damn door and be like, "Y'all got maple syrup?" <laughs> if not, I'm walking my ass out of the door and going to the cafe, which has scrambled eggs, like uh, Woody Harrelson in Zombieland about Twinkies. You know, you, you, I just I want something that tastes like home. Give me a, something that tastes like home, so I can feel connected to this planet again. And don't give me shitty Cisco syrup. Little touristy town we have here. There's Enos Cafe. They have pie. Trading Post. This is cute. It's very cute. Idaho soon. I what a what a trip, right? Like what an amazing trip this has been. And look at the like Oh Earthquake Lake! We should go to Earthquake Lake. Is it ahead? I want to go check that out. It's a lake that formed over six days after an earthquake hit. How far drive is it though? Three miles? It's only 9 a.m. Let's go. I am so... There's no one here. Huh. The earthquake lake. That's it. That's earthquake lake. Magnitude earthquake killed 28 people. And this lake formed. There used to be a road over there, and a like, like houses and stuff. And this lake just swallowed all of it whole. Me again to the mountains. Smelling Christmas trees again. This is all public land. This is amazing. I'm passing so many campgrounds and fishing spots and boat ramps. All public land. West Yellowstone. It looks like we're about an hour and a half away from the park. It's touristy here. Yellowstone. What a great trip this is. <laughs> it's so great. I'm gonna I'm gonna go opposite the crowd. Um, I'm gonna do the Grand Loop, and if everyone's going right to Old Faithful, I'm gonna go left. I think if I go opposite the crowd, I'll be have much uh, less traffic congestion. 
We'll see how the crowd goes. It's people doing photos of the, the bison. Don't they know that all they do is go to Down to Earth Petting Zoo in Alberta and you can, you can touch a live bison that will then break out of its fence and uh, run after you. I'm gonna tune a millimeter lens out and uh, take some pictures from here though. It's uh, Gibson Falls. That's pretty. You can barely see it. Nice teal color. Yeah, that's pretty. Huh. A lot of people. That's a lot of people. I'm I don't know what this is. Wow, it's a lot of smoke. It's not smoke, it's steam, I guess. Huh, that's well, cool too. Wow. We're on a one-way road, which is nice for three miles. <laughs> Foot peg steering. It's beautiful, man. Look at that. Oh, man. Gorgeous, really gorgeous. It smells amazing. What a great day to be in uh, Yellowstone. Is that water? Yeah, wow. Wow, that's so cool. Oh man, that is awesome. Oh yeah. It's a falls, but it's like on a straight rock. Oh, so great. 8,200 feet was our highest elevation so far in the park. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna do any of these uh, points of interest. It's not that I wouldn't appreciate them, but there's too many people here. Hey, bison, eating some food. bigger too it's so cool go across that's cool there's a mountain in the background neat We may not be doing the Continental Divide ride. Wrong bike and no friends. But the good news is we're still on it. <laughs> the old faithful parking area and see if we can actually get parking. If I sit really still, still they won't know that I'm different. Well, Old Faithful was pretty much a bust. It was 15 minutes late uh, from the estimated time. And then 
it went off for like 30 seconds. <laughs> so I took photos. But that's it. <coughs> oh. So I have photos of it. It started raining. It's 3.30. I'm going to get out of here. Uh, I was going to take the north exit, but I've already done the whole loop. So I'm going to take the west exit and then cut over to Big Sky, Montana, and then up as if I'm going to Bozeman. It looks like I'll be in Bozeman at 5.50 p.m. Oh, Jesus. At 5.50 p.m. if I just go to Bozeman from here, uh, off interstate. But I'm not going to go to Bozeman. I'm going to go take a right as if I'm going on 90 east and uh, head towards Dakota's. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to stay off interstate so I can find uh, forest access. So I've got this sense of non-interstate routing. It's odd. TomTom Tom will allow you to do not interstates but highways. This will say keep me off highways. And if you do keep me off highways on this, it takes like, instead of 30 hours to get North Carolina, it takes like 75 hours. <laughs> this does not have a do not, this has, does not have an interstate function, it's just a highway. Whereas TomTom Tom has that granularity, so... Do the tom-tom for a bit until I get uh, my bearings to figure out what I'm doing next. I don't mind doing Old Faithful, but it was a waste of time. I guess Yellowstone feels to me like more of like a field trip than a national park. Like, maybe it's because I was raised on video games, but it seems like something that you would do like if you were like under the age of 16 and then never do it again. Like the magic of Yellowstone, it's just a geothermal activity and steam. But I don't, I don't feel, I don't feel like enthralled by it or mesmerized. It's just like, yeah, it's hot and it's steaming. This is no fun. <laughs> Get me back out in the woods. I'm going back out in the woods. Are you going across? Go. Go. Hey, more steam from the ground. We go boil a pot of water when I get home. Uh, earthquake lake or whatever it was. Uh, from that side, Venus. It's an hour going north to Big Sky and then onward to Bozeman, but we're not going to go to Bozeman. Uh, I have both. I have both Tom Tom and Garmin. One skipping highways, one skipping interstates. We're going to see who. We're going to see who wins here. Um, this thing's I get to. Uh, I put. I put. Um, Butte. No, not Butte. Where did I, Where am I going? Billings. I put Billings in. This is 943. This says 940. I'm not going to Billings, but I'm basically just going to drive in that direction off interstate and then find campgrounds. It's only 445, and weather on the way out tells me that I'm not going to get rained on, even though it looks like I will be. We'll see. Montana North 86. Uh, I think I 90 over there towards uh, where we were going to go, Billings, but I'm not going to do that. I had tacos in uh, Bozeman. The battery's going to give out soon this GoPro to replace it, but wow, look at that. This is a great highway, guys. It's very uh, gravelly and fun and not well maintained and lots of line markings. It's a great views. A little twisty up here.
And there's a lot of like off camber, like sharp edge, bumpy pavement here. It's not like you can really like predict how it's gonna react to the tire. A little bit of scattered gravel too. <laughs> Big sky country. We're back. Yeah, Yellowstone was fun, but this is more fun. This is the life, man. Wildflowers, pink clouds, open country, ranches. Get me out of the cities, get me out of the tourist areas, and let me have some fun. Woo! <laughs> Coming home, brother. Heading east. Woo! <laughs> that was so much fun. And I'm about to take a left or a right and go more on that road for another 100 miles or so. Wow, just that was so much fun, guys. So much fun. There's a National International Forest access up there as well. Uh, but I, I can keep going. It's not, it's not dark yet, so I can keep going. I'm going to change my GoPro battery and sip some water. Look at this uh, wild world of sports. That is a setup right there. Highway 294. All this just to avoid I-90. I don't care. Beautiful. Yeehaw! I can probably camp behind those hay bales and no one would even care. I love that though. Like East Coast, you can't just do that. You gotta it's really hard to stealth camp on the East Coast. Alright. US 12. Billings 117 miles. We're gonna go somewhere near Harlow Town. Harloden? Harloden? It's a sleep tonight, it's the city park in Harloden. They actually uh, let you sleep there on first come first serve basis. They have RV pullthroughs, but I don't have an RV. So I'm just gonna be against the corner. Uh, so set up tents, edit some videos, do the normal, normal thing until it gets dark. This will be on the area of cell phone service. That'll be nice. And then in the morning I have some breakfast with some real maple syrup, maybe. <laughs> I've given up my dream. That woman lied to me. She lied to my face and said it's maple syrup. Oh, man. In which case, I've got to find a little tiny corner. Yep, things for sale. I'm going to trade a GS for it. So this is the city park. Okay, there's the camping area. Oh, there's plenty of spots. These people are here for years. They're all up on bricks and stuff. Okay. Perfect. 12 bucks. Cool. I will get my stuff set up and then find a cash machine. Locomotive. This is their downtown. Pretty cool. And we're going to try to find a place that will serve me some food. <laughs> but yeah. Maybe Barsky's Bar and Casino has something. Or the Steakhouse. Wow, there's some photos here. 